And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> Ah, Enrique, what a nice surprise. How the heck did she know my name? Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, Sayori's face. What the <laughs> Manga? <laughs> no, not manga! <laughs> oh my god, not manga. Oh my god. This game is not suitable for children or those who are easily disturbed. Individuals suffering from anxiety or depression may not have a safe experience playing this game. For content warnings, please visit http colon double slash ddlc dot moe slash warning dot html. By playing Doki Doki Literature Club, you, ag you agree that you are at least 13 years of age and you consent to your exposure of highly disturbing content. Well, I agree, because I'm 20 years old. Hello everyone, Enrique Zuniga Jr. here. Welcome guys to a new gaming video of Doki Doki Literature Club. Yes, that's right. Doki Doki Literature Club. I've heard a lot about this game. I've been like, I don't know why that, 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 I don't know why this game is like so like getting popular for some reason. I mean, I've been hearing from you from like comments from like about Doki Doki Literature Club and like some stories on it and stuff like that. And I decided, you know what? Why not I play this game out for you guys? Because I want to try this out. And, um, it's a free game. It's a free game to download, guys. And, um, yeah. So, um, I thought why not I try it out for myself. So, this is gonna be my first time playing this game. I'm so excited, for, I'm so excited to play this game. And as you can see, we got these four girls right here. Beautiful girls in, the, in this uh, main menu. And, uh, yeah. So let's go to the settings and see what we can do here. Okay, so we got the display window, okay. All these other choices you can do. Okay, all right, got that. Return. Anyways, guys, first time playing Doki Doki Legend Club, and I'm so excited to play this game. I'll put a link down in the description box below if you wanna, if you wanna, if you wanna download and play this game for yourself. It's free to download, and uh, I wanted to try, I wanted, I wanted to try to play this game. So here I am playing this game. So here we go. Let's start a new game, guys. Please enter your name. All right. My name is gonna be Enrique because it's my first name and why not? So, without further ado guys, let's begin. Doki Doki Literature Club. Here we go. Hey! What? Question mark. I see an, I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Oh, so I guess I have a girl named Sayori who's been like neighbor and good friend. Wow, since we were like really young children, okay. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today. But it just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. Wow, okay. We used to walk to school together on days like this. 
But starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh god. Alright. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. Really? No, I would never, I would never ditch my, I would never ditch a friend of mine, if, if, or, but never mind. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <sighs> ah! Ah! <laughs> oh my god, Sayori. I overslept again! But I caught you this time. Maybe. But only because I decided to stop and wait for you. And you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. No, don't play Don Sayori. Come on now. <laughs> that, that's mean, Enrique. Oh my god. This is really interesting. Like, you got. You, you, wow, okay. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did away from me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean to me, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. <laughs> this is cool. I like how you can have a conversation to the to, uh, to these to, to the to Sayoris. Oh my god, this is wow. So far, so good. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Enrique, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club. I told you already. I'm really not interested. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I mean, to be honest, I thought of doing. I, I thought of joining a club for some reason, but I don't know. I mean, I haven't been looking either. <laughs> I haven't. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Oh, me and my big mouth. <laughs> oh my god. I'm sure it's possible that I did, in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sayori likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Okay, so, appara so apparently I, I, I spend my free time games and anime. <laughs> oh my god. You know, I really love anime, but I'm not a huge fan of anime. It's kind of a weird feeling, but you know, don't get me wrong, I do love the anime, to be honest. Aha! I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. A neat? Uh, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna go ahead and search that up later after I finish this game. <laughs> you trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. Yeah, why not? I'll look at a few clubs. No promises, though. <laughs> will, you, will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Uh, yeah, yes, I promise. I'll promise you that. Oh wow. Every time, why do I predict? Why do I predict? Like the 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 the, the, um, the responses I get in the game as well. Like I was wow. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Oh, alright. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. Alright, so I guess we're in school. Alright, let me go ahead and save this game real quick. Save. No. Uh, sure. Loading. You can, hey, so you can use the skip button to fast forward to, to, through text you already read. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Thanks for the tip, uh, uh, Team Salvato. Okay, thank you. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Clubs, clubs, clubs. What clubs should I join? So you already wants me to check out some clubs. Yeah, she wants me to. But you know what? Let's. I'm just gonna go ahead and like. Yeah. Let's see. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Really? The anime club? <laughs> That's the most obvious one there is. But you know. Hello, Sayori. 
Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. Oh, okay, it's just so it's just me and Sayori right now in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting there spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if it's gonna make you late to your own club. <laughs> well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know. Know what? Well, that you could come to my club. Oh, what what club you're joining in, Sayori? Uh, Sayori. Yeah! There's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. Oh god, now I'm being a little bit harsh on her. God dang it! <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the literature club. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing Sayori wants me to, like, get to, into the literature club, I guess. Well, that's because the game is called Doki Doki Literature Club. Duh! <laughs> Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she's, she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Nope, screw you, I'll just get- <laughs> I'd rather join the anime club! <laughs> Come on, please! Oh, and now she's begging me to, go to join her club. Why do you care so much, anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in a new member- YOU WHAT?! <laughs> oh my god. And Natsuki made cupcakes and everything. Oh wait, who's Natsuki? I had to find out and- I had to find out in this game. <laughs> cupcakes? Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of a- Airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all of this out, I let out a long sigh. <sighs> oh, there's a long sigh. Okay, fine. I'll stop. I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Yes, let's go. All right. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> all right. Let me go ahead and save real quick. Sure. Okay. <laughs> I'm enjoying this game so far. I don't know why. Why am I? Why do I feel like I'm? I'm loving this game. Okay. I dejectedly follow Sayori across the school upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for the third for third year classes and activities. What happened to the freaking background music? Oh well. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. All right, let me out of my way. Can I go in? Oh, there's the there's the. Uh, Hey everyone! The new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member! <laughs> yes, don't call me a new member because I have a name! Eh, I glance around the room. What's going on? Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Sayori always says nice things about you. Oh, really? Seriously? You brought a boy? Oh my god! Wait, what? How did she know I'm a- Oh god, now. How did she- Okay, I hope- I hope this- I hope this doesn't involve with like gender issues or something like- Or errors or something- I don't know. Whatever. Get on with this game. Way to kill the atmosphere. Oh, come on now. Don't be like that. Ah, Enrique, what a nice surprise- How the heck did she know my name? What the- um, uh, what the- uh, mm, uh, okay, uh, hi? I don't know your name yet, but welcome to the club. <laughs> uh, thanks, I don't know what's going on, but, uh, all words escaped me in this situation. Yeah, I have no words. Speechless. This club, it feels... isn't full of incredibly cute girls. <laughs> Obviously. These cute and beautiful girls. I have no idea. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. So, sorry. I was just staring at a, at a distance. I don't know what's going on. Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> the girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Oh, okay. So I guess her name is Natsuki, the one with the pink hair. Okay. 
All right, now I, I need to get the hang of these these names for these girls. <sighs> well, she has a sour attitude. Her small figure makes me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. Well, that's obvious. Well, I really like the I really like this background music. It's so sweet. You can just ignore her. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Okay, whatever you say, Sayori. Sayori says that quietly into my ear, then turns back toward. Her. Okay, okay. It looks like he went close to my ear and whispered it. Okay. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. Is she? Like you are, Sayori? I don't know. And this is Yori, the smartest in the club. Okay, Yori is this this girl on the far left. Okay. Wow. I'm impressed. D -d don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears com comparably more mature and timid, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, I don't know why she. That look makes me think like she's a, she's a little bit shy or something. Reminds me of Fluttershy from My Little Pony, but I, none about that. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. It's a it's a greeting to meet you. <laughs> and it sounds like you already know Monica. Is that right? Um, I don't know. That's right. Wait, what? Wait, have we met before, Monica? Oh, wait, I'm confused. What's going on? It's great to see you again, Enrique. Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> oh my god, Monica! You gave me that 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 pose, that cute, adorable pose. Okay, thank you. We don't. Okay. You, 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 are you trying to make me blush right now? Don't make me blush. We do know each other well. We rarely talk, but we were in the same class last year. Oh, uh, that that explains it. That explains it. All right, now I know. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, and athletic. Hmm. Oh, that's really interesting. Basically, completely out of my league. <laughs> so having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little... Awkward, I say? Y y you too, Monica? Come sit down, Enrique. We made room for you at the table, so you, don't, so you, so you can sit next to me or Monica. Oh, boy. I'll get the cupcakes, okay? Okay, yeah, girls, let's all sit down and enjoy some cupcakes and stuff like that. Hey, I made them, I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, you know what? Let Natsuki get the cupcakes. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? Oh, all right, I'll be nice, Yuri. The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori mentioned, it's been widened. It's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Oh, I wonder who am I gonna sit next to? Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Ah, oh, obviously, I have to sit next to my childhood and neighbor, good friend Sayori. Obviously. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in here. Okay, are you ready? I guess I am. Ta-da! Whoa! <laughs> oh my god, Sayori's face! What the <laughs> Oh my god, this is great! Oh my god, what the freak, the Natsuki's creepy spot? Oh my god, that out- okay, wow. <laughs> Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white, fluffy cupcakes to decorate it to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. Oh, that's so cute. Well, I don't even know. I, you can't even see it because, like I said, this game is... I, I don't know what to say. This is awesome. Well, we can't see the cupcakes, but we can just imagine we can see them. So cute! <laughs> I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Eh, well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Alright, give me one. <laughs> Sayori grabs one first, then Monica, then I follow. Okay. Alright, it's so apparently I got I have followed too. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. Already off the bat! <laughs> I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Or I'm looking at my cupcake, I'm looking at it, turning it, looking for the best angle to bite. 
Atsugi is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Oh god, are you really staring at me, Natsuki? Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Well, I guess she is looking at me. I finally bite down. Ah. The icing is sweet. And full of flavor. I wonder if she made it for herself. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Is that chocolate? Mmm. This is, this is, this is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. What, why are you thanking me? I'm not, it's not like I, haven't I heard this somewhere before? Wait, what? I made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically, I thought you technically did. Sayori so said, well, maybe, okay, okay, Natsuki. But not for you, you know, you dummy. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, jeez. Here we go with Natsuki. With, okay, all right, all right. All right, you don't have to be in a sour attitude. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yes, let's dismiss this conversation like this never happened. Thank you. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. All right, all ready for some tea. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tent. You, you keep a whole tea set in, the, in this classroom. Don't worry, the teacher just gives permission. Oh, okay, that's good. Cause I was about to say, if you didn't give permission, then you would have been in big trouble. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Don't think, don't think that. All right. After all, doesn't a hot doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, yeah, I guess. Ah! <laughs> I got that right. I got that right. Wow. Why are my predictions are like so correct? It's my first time playing this. I don't. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> don't let yourself get in intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh, that, that's not. Oh god, no, not Yuri's face again. Insulted. Yuri looks away. Dang it, Monica. I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I I at least enjoy tea. Yeah, who doesn't love a cup of tea? Tea is really good. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Oh, what a relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. Oh, God. Really? So, what made you consider the layer club? Uh... That's a good question, Monica. Uh... I was afraid of this question. I don't know how to way to answer this. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica, Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Yeah, don't. I don't want to say that. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay. Don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I am surprised. Wow, I guess I, I, I am really surprised at Monica. How come you decided to start your own, your own club? That's my question. You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> that pose again, I swear. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. Yeah, yeah, let's not bring politics. Politics are out of this freaking... No, no, no. Let's not bring out politics. No. It feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and public, 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 public city and how to prepare for events. Yeah. Don't like... I don't like the arguing and stuff like that for, for, for politics. Yep. That's out of this world. No. No, thank you. All right. Ah, oh, let's get back to the game. I write, I might, I, I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Wow. Yeah, you know, that's a smart choice, Monica. After all, you're the president of the literature club. And, it, and, it, and if, it encourage, if it encourages others to get into literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. That's great. Monica really is a great leader. Oh, that, that's nice. Yuri also nods in agreement. Well then, I'm surprised there. I'm, then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club, isn't it? You could put it that way. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. Not many people are very interested in putting out all their effort to start something brand new, especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. Yeah, I guess you could say that. 
I mean, I kind of, I really, to be honest, I do like, I do like a little bit, I do like literature, but not too much. But you know, it's something. Maybe this, maybe this legend will help me on stuff, but you know, I don't know. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. That's true. And in, but it makes school events like the festival that much more important. Uh, a, a festival? Oh, I like the sound of that. I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? That's right. Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it! Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Especially, I agree too! Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Wow! Oh my god, this is amazing! I, 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 I love this game so far! This game is so much awesome! I love it. Alright. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. I, I, I guess I guess you could put it that way, I guess. Maybe that's why there were they, they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Like me. And don't call me a new member. I am Enrique, because don't forget that. <laughs> we all have names, don't we? So yeah. Anyways. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm, enthusiasm about liter literature. So, Enrique, what kind of things do you like to read? Well, uh, oh jeez, tough question. Considering how little I've read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering it. Manga? <laughs> no, not manga! <laughs> oh my god, not manga, oh my god. It's ma manga is just those, uh, comics. The comics with the anime characters, and oh my god, I know what that, I know what manga is. God dang, oh my god. I mutter quietly to myself, half joking. Okay, I was making sure, what? So apparently, do we manga? <laughs> and so these heads suddenly perks up. Uh-oh. It seems like I might have gotten that Suki's attention. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Alright, so she's like, okay, I thought you said something and turns away. Alright. No, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? Why did they just say that? Well, that can change. Oh, that's the best line you can come up with, Enrique. <laughs> I spoke without thinking about it about after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Wow, that's impressive. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? What do you like to read? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on clearly passionate about her reading. Wow, guess she is passionate. She's seen so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up and that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. Uh, well, that, okay, that's a good reason why, like, I guess Yuri is not into, like, into like people like she gets shy but you know she's she's just really comfortable in the world of books and reading and such like that but you know that that is what it is so yeah anyways next but you know i like a lot of things stories with these psychological elements using immerse me as well isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop I guess that could be amazing, yeah. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Uh, I read a horror book once. That it freaked me out so bad that I it freaked me out so bad. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying. I swear to God. I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with the rock. <laughs> what? Why would she have why would she be having a conversation with the freaking rock out of nowhere? Like Yo, like, let me, let me talk to this rock. The rock doesn't speak. It's a freaking solid freaking object. Whatever. <laughs> really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. <laughs> oh, God. Monica brings up a good point. But if a story makes me think, or... But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, that I, can, that I really can't put it down. Surreal horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world. If only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Okay, Natsuki. Enough with that. Oh, why is that? 
Yeah, why? Why? Why, Natsuki? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes dart over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? Oh my god! Is it really... What? what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great! This is great! Oh my god, this is getting interesting. What gives you that idea? He left the piece of scrap paper behind last club meeting. Oh, did you look at it, Monica? Did you look at it? It looked like you were working on a poem. Oh, oh god. Oh my god. It looked like you were working on a poem called- DON'T SAY IT OUT LOUD! <laughs> She's gonna be- oh my god. She, I have a feeling- oh my god. It's like, DON'T SAY IT! You're gonna make me embarrassed! <laughs> and give that back! I was like, give me that poem back. <laughs> fine, fine. <laughs> oh, this is great. Why is this making me laugh? I don't know. But well, whatever this is, this is really entertaining. <sighs> this is great. I love this. I love this game to death for something. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. I don't know. <laughs> you know, cupcakes. Your poems. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Oh my god, are you trying to irritate- Are we all just trying to irritate Natsuki right now? Sayori sid sidles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands on her shoulders, like trying to give her a massage. Hey, calm down. Here, let me massage you. Feel relaxed. Take a deep breath and stuff like that. I'M NOT CUTE! <laughs> oh my god. Come on. I mean, I- Wow. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime with me? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. Oh, come on, Natsuki, come on now. You wouldn't like them. Um, how would I- how would I- how would I- how would I not like your poems if I hadn't read them yet, Natsuki? At least you had to give at least give it a try. At least just one of your poems, at least. Well, uh, not a very confident writer yet, huh? No, that's all right. I understand how Natsuki feels. Same, same, Yuri. Sharing that level of writing makes takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open you up to your readers, exposing exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you can share some of your work. You can you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, oh god, not that not not that face, Yuri. Come on now. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Well, that's one. Okay. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. Oh, well, so Yuri is trying to be the. She's she's always energetic and she's always excited for this moment. We all sit in silence for a moment. Like, yeah, let's have a moment of silence, please, for just freaking one moment. <sighs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> no, why that pose again? You, 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 are you really trying? Are you really trying? Are you really attractive to me, Monica? That's kind of that's kind of wrong for some reason. This is not a good time. I have an idea, everyone. Huh? Natsuki and Yuri Lee. Natsuki and Yuri looks quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. Oh, all right. Let's go. Let's all go home and do our. Uh, let's make, write a poem of our own for our homework assignments. Oh, that's great. And then next time we'll meet, we meet. We'll all share them with each other. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, after all, that way everyone is even. Yep. I guess I I, I agree with that. Hmm. After all. What's wrong with reading someone else's poem? Uh, um, what is it? Yeah, let's do it. I, you know what? I, I really love, I really love Sayori's, uh, Sayori's personality for some reason. She's always, she's always, she's always accepting to do what is, what is great and exciting and fun. You know, she always, she, she has this really energetic, awesome like feeling. I don't know why. Like, wow. She reminds me of Pinkie Pie for some reason from Mother Pony. I don't know why. I, I don't know why I'm bringing up Mother Pony for some reason in this, but I, I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. I'm just hyping this feel. Oh my god. I really love. I, I do love Sayori. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Enrique? You bet that is right, Monica. Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Uh, okay, of course. Wait, hold on. There's still one problem. Oh, God. What, what is my problem that I have? Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what has been on my mind the entire time. Ah, uh, what is it? What do I have? What what do I have in my mind that has been going set up uh, this entire month? I never said I would join this club. <laughs> Sayori might may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. Oh God, no, no, not now. These four girls are looking at me like, really? All the four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. Oh yes, yes. They're pretty good ejected eyes looking at me. Oh my god, like, oh god, no. But, but, I'm sorry, I thought. Huh! Enrique! No, 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 wait. You, you all, wait, let me explain! Let me explain, hold on. Uh, you know what? I'm defenseless against these girls, yep. Yeah? I'm defenseless! There's nothing I can do. I guess I have no choice but to join the Liturgy Club. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Well, that is if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend time spend time every day with these beautiful girls. Yeah. Please, I want to join the Lyrics Club. Yeah, please. Let, 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 I'll, join the, I'll join the Lyrics Club. Right. Okay, I decided then. I'll join the Lyrics Club. See? I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Yeah! See, I, one by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! I'll, you know what? Why not? I'll, I'll, I'll join the Liturgy Club. Yes! I'm so happy! Sayori wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Oh my god. Okay, she's like giving me hugs, jumping up and down, all excited. Hey, 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 hey! Okay, okay! You really did scare me for a moment. Well, I'm sorry, Sayori. I'm sorry, Yuri, but I didn't mean to. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> Well, that's true. If I only came for the cupcakes and walked out, yeah, she would be super pissed, though. So, yeah, I wanted it. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the Liturgy Club. Oh, thanks, Monica. I think I'm, I think I'm glad to be in the Liturgy Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Wow, so far so good. So now I'm at to the point where I get, to, where I'm starting to join the Liturgy Club for the first time. All right, so, so far so good. I'm enjoying this game so far. I don't know what to say. I mean, this is really cool that you like, like the text is speed. Oh my, I don't know what to say. That's cool, you can have a conversation with these girls and like, I am speechless like right now. This is impressive. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Yes, that's a, that'd be a great way to end today's day. Everyone remember tonight's assignment? Yep, write a poem. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. All right. Monica looks over me once more. Enrique, I look forward to seeing you how you express yourself. Aw. Well, I'm glad, um, I think, I think, uh, okay, thank <laughs> Oh, not that, oh my God. Well, she is trying to make me get comfortable in this in this Literature Club thing, but you know, the way she's doing that pose right there, I don't know, I feel, I don't know, embar uh, awkward? Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I really impress the class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Oh, my writing skills are mediocre? Why? Come on now. I already feel the anxiety welling up inside. Same! Why do I have the feeling that I have the inside? Oh my god. What? I'm having goosebumps right now! Are you serious? Oh my god, these feelings are so real! Oh my god! <laughs> this is- oh my god, I- this is no joke, guys. I have goosebumps right now, I swear. Oh god, no! The, the feelings are so real. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Itsuki clean up their food. Hey, Enrique, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? Sure, Sayori. 
That's right. Sayori and I never walk home together anymore because she always stays after school for clubs. I mean, sure. Let's go ahead and walk home together. Sure, might as well. Yay! <laughs> With that, the two of us depart the club room and make our way home. Alright, let me go ahead and save this game real quick. Alright! So far, this is like... The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Ha ha ha! I read that before it appeared on the screen! Yeah! <laughs> oh my god! Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club with these four beautiful girls? I mean, I'm supposed to. I mean, I'm the luckiest man. <laughs> After all, this is this might be a this might be a really good experience. Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer. Uh, perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Yeah, I guess so. All right then. Wow, so far so good. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Alright, so now what? It's time to write a poem. Alright, let's do this. Pick words that, pick words you think your favorite club member will like. Something good might happen with whoever likes your poem the most. Alright, let's do this. Let's begin. Uh, okay. Okay, for some reason we get to pick random words to write, like, topics for, like, our... Okay, let's see. Uh, uh, cute. Okay, that's for Natsuki. Okay, I can tell what's going on right here. So every pick out word... So, like, okay, if I, uh, I pick... I picked cute for the first one, and, uh, it seems like Natsuki took so, so that, so that... So I guess she likes that topic, I guess. Wow. Okay, now I'm, st un now I'm understanding the game here, alright. Next word. Uh, dance. Alright, that's Sayori. Okay. So far, so good. Uh, insight. Alright, that's Sayori. Doki Doki! <laughs> Alright. What else? Uh, okay, I know. Okay, shoot. Alright, horror is gonna be for Yuri. You know what? Why not? Alright, what else? Laugh! I love to laugh! Yeah, let's see Yuri! <laughs> uh, what else? Anime, no. Let's do Melody! Alright, that's Natsuki. Uh, Daydream! Alright. Boop! <laughs> let's do that! Uh, Imagination! Alright, that's Yuri. Okay, then. Alright, halfway done. I'm halfway done writing my poem. What else? What else? Termination! Yuri? Okay. Happiness! Yeah! Alright, I'm just gonna pick random words. Uh, 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 childhood! Okay. Uh, what else? Games! Okay. Together! Yeah! Okay. What else? What else? Uh, 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 shoot! Um, holiday. Okay. <laughs> Color. Okay, I, it seems like now that I've read, now I feel like Sayori's gonna like my poem the most for some reason. Uh, bouncy. Okay. Uh, what else? Uh, bed. And then last one, music. Okay, I think Sayori's gonna like my poem. I have a feeling right now. Hi again, Enrique! Well, hello, Monica! Nice to see you again! I guess I'm gonna stay right here because I wrote- I written my poem and I- and I don't want to, like, say what I had to do. Okay. Glad to see you didn't run away from us! <laughs> Why would I run away? Come on now, Monica! Nah, don't worry. Yeah, you don't have to worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I keep my promise. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Oh, I'm late! I'm the last one in. That's fine. Thanks for keeping your promise, Enrique. Well, you're welcome, Yuri. 
I hope this isn't too overwhelming for, of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on, like he, needs to, like he deserves any slack. Yeah, I don't deserve any slack. You can use it, yeah. So you already told me you didn't even want to join the clubs this year. And last year, too. Oh, say you already? Really? I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. No, what makes you think that, Mitsuki? But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. And Tsuki, you, cer you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the classroom in the club room. Oh! Monica roasting freaking Atsuki here! <laughs> oh, dang! Natsuki finds yourself stuck between, say, Monica and Manga. Wow! Monica, Manga, wow. That's hard to, wow. Manga is literature! <laughs> what? How is it? How is manga literature? Well, you don't bring it. <laughs> Swiftly defeated, Natsuki flops back into her seat. All freaking shameful. <laughs> Good one, Monica. Good one. Don't worry, guys. Enrique always gives his best as long as he's having fun. Yes, as long as I'm having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable. <laughs> Sayori, that's because your room is so messy. It's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so? <laughs> oh my gosh. You two are really good friends, aren't you? Yes, Yuri. You can say that. And I might be a little jealous. Oh god, Yuri. How come? You and Enrique can become good friends too. Uh, we could. Uh, um, uh, so Sayori, well, why, did you, why did you say that? Hmm? Oh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the freak? Was she listening to what I really freaking said? Or, or am I completely out of my mind? I don't know. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation. Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she put me into. Thanks, Sayori. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Oh, did she? Wait, 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 Sayori. Oh, oh God. What do you have, Yuri? You have a surprise for me? Huh? Me? Yeah, I'm confused. Like, really? You have a surprise for me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it then? I'm curious to know. Come on. Please, spit that out of your mouth. I want to know. N never mind. Oh. Come on, Yuri. You're better than this. Well, you know, if you're not ready yet, then that's fine by me. I understand. So Yuri make it sounds like a big deal when it's really not. Oh, really? Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Okay, what do I have to say to rescue this situation? Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, she gave me a book? I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so it should keep your attention if you don't usually read. We could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. Well, I guess so, you can say that, Yuri. Then this is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Oh my god, how is she being so cute right now for some reason? I don't know what's going on. She even picked out a book she, she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading so much. Yuri, thank you! I'm de I'll definitely read this for you, Yuri. I enthusiastically take the book. Phew! Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. But that doesn't mean to be that doesn't seem to be the case. So Yuri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Oh, Yuri's face is already burning in the book. Okay, it seems like Yuri is already focusing on reading her book. I can't
can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Okay. Man, let me save real quick. Man, it looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with something literature related by myself like this? I guess I can always read some of the book Yuri gave me. Yeah, that would be a great thing. That would be a great thing to do. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Oh, come on, Enrique. You got I could probably fall asleep right now. No, no, do not fall asleep on me. I close my eyes and end up listening in on Sewer. I really... We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all of the other clubs, though. Hmm? Well, we can't give up. That's right, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is that the idea of the literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. But it's not like that all. But it's not like that at all, you know. We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Mm. <laughs> that doesn't solve the problem, though. Uh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place if it's a literature. If it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? Uh, I think she has- I think Sayori might have a good point. And after they come, we can do the things to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sayori's taking this really seriously? Oh god, no. Jeez. It's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Ah, that's a good point. See? See, I told you it's a good point. Sayori made a freaking good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? Food? Yes! What, what kind? Oh my god. Sayori's like, already for- I'm like, I'm ready for some food! I'm starving! <laughs> ah, well, I guess we could... Okay, cupcakes again like yesterday? Cupcakes! <laughs> <laughs> wow! This is what a coincidence! After I, after I mentioned cupcakes, she had to say cupcakes. Ah, <laughs> good thinking, yes. I think you would love to do that. Of course, again. Ah, ah, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. That works out perfectly. That wasn't, that wasn't why you suggested it. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. <laughs> I'll say you're, you're so funny. <laughs> cupcakes it is then. All right. I, I, I'm a hungry. Anyways, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. All right. I find myself smiling. All right, save again. I know I'm saving this a couple of times, guys, but you know, I have to. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. Okay, for some reason, the screen is black. I don't know what's going on, but therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Oh, really? Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all. Wait, am I falling asleep? Because I, I remember early in the, when I was playing this game, it said I, I have an urge to feeling the, to fall asleep. Sayori can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up laying her again on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what, it'd be, what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh god, wow! <laughs> okay, Sayori, why are you so close to me? I open my eyes to find Sayori's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sayori, seriously? Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. Okay, Sayori, okay. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> That's right. There's no such thing as a freaking napping club. That's funny. Very funny, Sayori. Does our school have a napping club? No! No, I would never ask that stupid question. Does our school have a napping club? Oh, no. Well, I wish there were, but no. There was no way. There's... You're staying up late again, aren't you? Oh my god. Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know? You'll need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard that. Okay. It's true, though. Yeah, yeah, okay, Sayori. You got me this time. You got me, I know, I know. You got me. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. 
<laughs> oh, that's so sweet how Sayori, like, I guess, looks out for looks out for me, and I look out for her, too. That's so sweet. It's what I do best. Aw. That's a problem. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> you look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still over you're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Like, seriously. Eh, not every day. No, not, not every day. That's not very convincing, Sayori. How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's oh god. It's a secret. <laughs> How is this? How is this a secret? I knew it! I freaking knew it, Monica. I mean, oops. I meant Sayori. <laughs> oops. I accidentally said Monica. Never mind. Why did I say that? I'm not. Come on! Don't. At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Seriously, Sayori. Look, Sayori. It's written all over, all over you. I see it in your face. Look at your hair. It's so messy. Eh. Sayori glances around at herself. How is it written all over me? Ah! <laughs> very funny, Sayori. Why do I... That's very... You were clearly in a rush this morning. So, look at, look at yourself. Your hair is sticking out all around here and there. I knew it! I told you. Why, why, am, I, why are my predictions are always correct? It's my first time playing this game. I am. And I'm already doing good at predicting stuff. Wow. I must be good at this. Ah! I run my fingertips down the side of Sayori's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush for this. You need to brush your hair, Sayori. It's a mess. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. There's no, there's more than just your hair. Look at, look at yourself. Your bow isn't straight either. And there's a toothpaste stain on your collar right there. I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But, but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would, if they're not blind. <laughs> Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really don't care about that. Hey, you meanie! Oh god, now I'm sounding like I'm a meanie right there. And you don't even keep, and you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sayori, why do you think you're the only you don't have a boyfriend yet? Did I just really say that out of my mouth? Oh my god, this game though. Are you? Eh, that's super mean! Oh, come on. How? Sorry, but you'll thank me later. <laughs> well, I had to, say, Sayori. Right. This this game is making me say this. <laughs> I started to button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. You'll thank me Oh, whoa! <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> how is this so... Wow, that's a great pose. That's a great scene right there. It seems like I'm fixing up her bow tie or whatever it is. What is? Well, what's so funny? I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? What? What do you mean, Sayori? Don't say that! Come on! We're, you're, making, you're making me feel weird about it, stupid! It's okay, though. <laughs> oh, God. I'm happy we're like this. Well, you know what? I'm glad you are, Sayori. Aren't you? Yeah. Uh, I guess. No, 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 not I guess. I am happy, but... Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Like, I can't even get a good grip on it. Like, dang, dang it. I struggled to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly, Sayori? <laughs> it did when I bought it. Ugh. Well, this just got worse. If you ever button it, you wouldn't have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What it? What are you smiling about? Look at look. Look, can't you just say I'm trying to do this for you? Like I'm helping you. It means my boobs got bigger again. Ah! <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger, bigger again. <laughs> Don't say that out loud. You know we're in a freaking lyrics club. <laughs> anyway, you look much better now, so... Ah! There we go. Why does it feel strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like that? But it's so stuffy! Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blaze, blazer once more. Really? Why would you unbutton it? Phew! That's so much better. 
Sayori puts her arms to our out and twirls around. So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, what kind of logic is that? Seriously. And why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because, uh, if I had a boyfriend that he wouldn't let me, that he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you take care of me better than anyone else would anyway. <laughs> so that's why I'm keeping it on button. Okay, Sayori, suit yourself. Suit yourself. And stop saying all those embar all these embarrassing things. Eh? I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Jeez, wheeze, man. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Can you promise me that, Sayori? Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. It's a deal. Ha! Ah, I told you! Why? Another prediction that's correct. It's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, so maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Are you you're doing this again, Sayori? Come on now, we. Uh, but I was joking that time. <laughs> uh, okay, you got me there, Sayori. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Uh, Monica silently comes out, calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Okay. Yay! Enrique, I can't wait to read yours. Oh, say, oh, say, Ari, I think you're gonna love my poem. Because I think after the poem I wrote with the, those those random words I chose, those random 20 words I chose, I think Sayori's gonna love this more than the other girls. Yeah, same. I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to relieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? I remembered, Monica. I would never let you down. Yeah, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. Oh my god, seriously? Now I'm now I'm feeling embarrassed right now? Come on now. Yeah, I couldn't really I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori can't wait any longer, so let's do this. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pulls out the, pull out the poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. Thanks, Sayori, you have a, you have a messy poem. <laughs> on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in the composition notebook. <clears throat> I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Wow, I have a, I have a good distance. I have a good vision from that, from that distance. Mitsuki and Yuri reluctantly complies while reaching into their bags and grabbing their poems. Yeah, I do the same myself. Yep, let's all write, let's, let's all get out our poems. All right, who should I show my poems? Okay, let me save real quick. All right. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to end the gameplay for Doki Doki Literature Club. And, uh, yep, so, and, uh, I guess that's it, guys, for, 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 uh, part one of Doki Doki Village Club. My, my gameplay of Doki Doki Village Club. Okay. I enjoyed this game so far. At first, at first off, I enjoyed this game for some reason. Um, I don't know what to say at first, guys, but this game is so amazing. You get, at first, like, first off, you wake up, you having, like, Sayori. Your, lo your long-time childhood friend who like, wa like wow this is amazing and that and that one day Sayori wants you I guess the player to uh, join join the club and and, and and seems like it seems like I'm having a great experience so far with this game and uh, yeah so and th so until next time I play Doki Doki Lady Club I'll be sharing poems I will be I'll be sharing my poem to these four girls. And also, please let me know, please comment down below who should I who should I share my poem with first for the next gameplay video that I might plan to do for for future purposes. So I guess that's it guys for Doki Doki Literature Club. If you guys enjoyed this gaming video of Doki Doki, of Doki, Doki Literature Club, don't forget to like this video, share this video with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel for more great videos I'll be doing in the future for you guys. And please guys, 
I'll put a link down in, in the description box below so that if so if you want to play this game for yourself, you can download it. It's free, absolutely free. I swear, I, I got it for free. And um, I want you guys to play this game for yourself. You want, I want you guys to try it out. I recommend this. Just 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 give it a try, guys. If you, even if you're not in, uh, into anime or into in, any anything into that, just at least try it. Just from the bottom of your heart, because it's so good. I am impressed with this game, so yeah. So until next time, guys, uh, yeah. Thank you all for watching my gameplay of Doki Doki Literature Club. And as always, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.